Hello everyone, this is Vikas for MOVFX and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this type of uh, parallax slides to animation by using Blackmagic Fusion. So let's have a look. Okay, so it's looking something like that and without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so go to file menu and click on new and take a new composition and close this previous composition. After that, check this composition setting. So go to file menu and click on preferences and here is frame format. So this composition is 1920 into 1080 and 30 frame per second. So it's good for now and click on save and convert this composition into 180 frame, which is equal to six seconds. So put the value 180 and hit enter. Okay, now let's import an image file. So go to folder and this is our image. You can download this image from pixabay.com and I have given a link in the description. So download this and drag and drop to the flow window. And now select this image and press F2 and rename it to image and click on OK. Now drag this image to the viewer and click on fit and right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap okay now go to tool menu and click on 3d and here is shape 3d so take this node and connect this image to this shape 3d and drag this shape 3d to the viewer okay double click on this shape 3d and go to properties and here is lock width and height so and check this box so this image size is 1920 into 1080 so the image proportion should be 16 is to 9 so put the width value 16 and height value 9 okay now it's looking something like this okay right click on this and here is 3d options and here is grid so uncheck this grid okay now select this image and click on this option here rectangle mask so click on this and take a rectangle mask select this rectangle and here is width and height so put the value 0 0.8 in width and 0 0.7 in height value okay now press 2 on the keyboard to preview this image into viewer 2 and click on fit select this rectangle mask and here is invert option so check this okay and then put the value 0 0.05 in soft edge okay so it's looking something like that okay now duplicate this node so select this node press ctrl c to copy and press ctrl v to paste okay now select this rectangle and set this value 0.7 and 0.6 okay now select this node again press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v select this rectangle and put the value 0.6 and 0.5 now repeat same thing so select this press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v select this rectangle and put the value 0.5 and 0.4 okay now select this again press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v select this rectangle and put the value 0.4 and 0.3 okay now select this again press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v select this rectangle and put the value 0.3 and 0.2 okay now one last time so select these two nodes press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v okay so now take a merge 3d so go to tool menu go to 3d and here is merge 3d node so click on this option 
and now connect all these nodes to this merge 3d so connect this now select this node and press 2 on the keyboard to preview this merge 3d into viewer 2 and click on fit okay right click on this preview window and here is 3d option so uncheck this grid okay now double click on this flow window and go to tool menu click on 3d and here is camera 3d so click on this camera 3d and take a camera and attach this camera to this merge okay now right click again and here is camera so select this camera 3d so press f2 and rename it to rename it to main cam and click on ok select this camera and set this camera something like this ok now select this shape 3d one and go to gizmo option and here is z offset so put the value minus 4 ok select this merge and press 1 on the keyboard to preview this merge 3d into viewer 1 and then select this node go to gizmo option here is z offset so put the value minus 8 now repeat same thing for all these nodes so select this one gizmo option and here is minus 12 select this gizmo option put the value minus 16 select this one go to gizmo option and put the value minus 20 select this and put the value minus 24 and hit enter okay now select this and here is scale option so hold control and set the scale value something like this select this and hold control and set this scale value something like this now select this and okay now let's animate this camera so select this camera and go to frame 0 and go to gizmo option and right click on this z offset click on animate and go to frame 180 and set this camera value 10 okay now let's play this okay so it's looking something like that okay now add a text node so click on this text plus button select this text and drag it to the viewer and type a text like parallax parallax slide so select this text right click on this click on character level styling go to modifier expand this option and select this text and change this font style to century gothic this is a century gothic click on this and select this parallax and change this bold to regular okay now select this and set the scale value something like this select this slideshow and increase the scale value something like this go to transform sorry go to alignment and set this value like this okay now select this text go to frame 180 and here is transform so select this tab and here is character spacing so right click on this click on animate and go to frame 0 and put the value 1.4 okay okay now select this text and go to tool menu and go to 3d and here is shape 3d so click on this and connect this text to this shape 3d and drag this shape 3d to the viewer okay and connect this shape 3d to this merge and double click on this shape 3d and here is lock width and height so uncheck this and put the value 16 and 9 okay now 
Select this merge and press 1 on the keyboard to preview this into viewer 1. Now select this shape 3D and place this over here. Okay. Now select this shape 3D and go to frame 180. Here is gizmo option so click on this and here is X rotation so right click on this X rotation click on animate and go to frame 0 and put this value minus 90 and hit enter and now let's play this okay so now select this camera and go to frame 60 and here is X offset so right click on this click on animate and go to frame 0 and put this value minus 1 okay so tilt this camera like this and go to frame approx 150 right click on X offset click on set key and go to frame 180 and put this value 1 and hit enter okay now it's almost done and then go to spline window check this x rotation select this keyframe press f for flatten and drag this handle and make the curve something like this okay now check this character spacing now click on one button and here is character spacing so click on this option select this keyframe press f for flatten and select this handle and make the curve something like this okay now check this x offset click on this select this keyframe press s to smooth and here is x offset so check this select these keyframes and press s select these and press s to smooth now it's done and go to flow window and now let's play this okay now let's add some particles so go to folder and this is our particle image uh, you can download this image from link given in the description and drag this particle file to the flow window and go to tool menu here is 3d and take a shape 3d node and connect these particles to this shape 3d and connect this shape 3d to this merge 3d okay now double click on this shape 3d here is material option so select set this alpha something like 0.03 and hit enter now select this shape 3d go to control and uncheck this lock width and height and put the width value 16 and height value 9 and hit enter okay now select this node press ctrl c to copy and paste it by pressing ctrl v okay connect this shape 3d to this and select this shape 3d and set this z offset something like this and select this one and drag it over here okay now select this particle and click on X if I take a transform select this transform node and check this flip horizontally and check this flip vertically okay now let's play this okay so it's looking awesome now select this merge 3d node go to tool menu and here is 3d option and here is render 3d so click on this node and drag it to the viewer okay so this is our final output node and then create an aspect ratio so take a background node rename this background node by pressing f2 to black and hit enter now select this and take a rectangle mask so click on this option place it over here and take a merge node and connect this yellow point to this and green point to this and drag this merge to the viewer 
and select this rectangle mask and set it like this and check this invert option okay so now it's done so let's play this press f4 to full screen and now let's check this okay so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye